forget to subscribe to my channel and while you're at it, click the bell to be notified of future videos. This block is called Big Stitch and Flip and it finishes at 12 inches. Here's the diagram. We just have two sizes of squares, six and a half inches and three and a half inches cut. Here are four blocks set block to block. It kind of makes a little circular design here in the center. We have two patches. Patch A is a six inch finished square. We cut six and a half inch squares. We'll need four assorted patches. These are the big outer squares. And if you have more darker fabrics, medium to dark fabrics here, then the design will really stand out. But really anything goes. Patch B is a three inch finished square. We cut three and a half inch squares and we'll need four patches of the light fabric. Here are the AccuQuilt dies that will cut these two patches. And here are all the cutting instructions for the separate fabrics, the lights and the darks. What we're going to do is use stitch and flip or a folded corner clipper or whatever method you use to stitch this triangle in the corner of this square. But I'm going to show you stitch and flip. Here's a sample layout of a larger quilt. So this is a quick way to use up your big chunks of fabric. So here are my four large squares. And here are my four smaller squares. For stitch and flip, we draw a diagonal on the back of the small square and we place it in the corner like this. We take this to the machine and we're going to stitch just to the right of this drawn line. Not on the line, just to the right. That'll give us sort of like a scant quarter inch. Once you've stitched we're going to trim about a quarter of an inch away from the stitching line. This does not have to be exact. Now some people will take this half square triangle and before they cut it they'll stitch another line of stitching here and it will give you another half square triangle, a smaller half square triangle. So you can do that if you don't like tossing away those things. Now you'll press the seam open and here are some that are pressed open. Now we'll just put the blocks together like this, however you think they look pretty together. And then we'll stitch these two together and these two, press the seams and then stitch the two rows together. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and while you're at it, click the bell to be notified of future videos.